Welcome to our lecture online. Our next problem asks us to find two negative numbers and they tell us that the difference between them is 4 and that their product is 45. Okay, let's say that we're going to define the first number as x. Let x equal the first number. Then how do we describe the second number? Well, if the difference is 4, then we can say, um, hmm, let's see here. The difference is 4. That means one number minus the other number equals 4. So how do we define this, the next number? Well, I'm going to, at this point, let's say let y equals the second number. So now the difference between them, I can now say that x minus y is equal to 4. Now let's use that to define the second number. So the reason why I did that is because sometimes it's hard to find a way to describe the second number. So we let another variable be the second number. Then I write the equation that the difference between them is equal to 4. Now let's solve this equation for y and plug that in here. So now what I can do is I can say that x minus 4 by bringing the 4 across is equal to y. So therefore if I plug that in here I can then say that x minus 4 which is equal to y is then the second number. So now I have the first number and the second number expressed in terms of x, one variable only. Now next they tell us that the product is equal to 45. That means that the first number which is x times the second number which is x minus 4 must equal 45. All right let's go ahead and work that out. This will be a quadratic equation so this becomes x squared minus 4x equals 45. Bring the 45 across I can write that x squared minus 4x minus 45 is equal to 0. And now let's go ahead and factor that. That factors into two binomials. For the first term I know I need an x and an x so that x times x gives me x squared. For size it tells me that one number must be positive and the other one number must be negative otherwise when I multiply them together I cannot get a negative 45 so I need a plus and a minus. When I add the two numbers together I get a negative 4 that means the negative number is 4 bigger than the positive number and it looks like 9 times 5 is 45 and 9 is 4 bigger than 5 so a minus 9 and a plus 5 seems to do the trick. Again a positive 5 times a negative 9 gives me negative 45 and 5 minus 9 gives me negative 4. So those are the two numbers. Now when I have two binomials multiplied together being equal to 0 that then implies that x plus 5 the first one must equal 0 or the second binomial must equal 0, one or the other, which means that x equals negative 5 or x equals 9. So these are the two possibilities. Now since I'm looking for negative numbers, I cannot use the positive answer. I must use the negative answer. So therefore, let x equal the first number. That means the first number equals a negative 5. That means that the second number must be negative 5 minus 4 which is therefore equal to negative 9. And there are the two negative numbers. The difference is 4 and the product is 45. And that is how it's done.